What's up guys? We have a new SIG in the house. Let's look at it. Here's the new SIG Sour pistol that we picked up. This is a SIG Sour P227 SAS model. Completely dehorned the whole gun. It's beautiful. 10 plus 1, 45 ACP. That's a snap cap in it right there. A really just gorgeous gun though. As you can see it is unloaded. Right there it says custom shop. Sig Sour Custom Shop. It's pretty cool, right? There's the barrel thickness. If you were wondering how thick the barrel is, that's how thick it is. They use a solid metal guide rod not hollowed out which is surprising because on all the other six hour pistols it is hollowed out comes with sig light night sights sig light night sights are pretty awesome a little bit of air in between them the double action on this six hour 227 SAS is unbelievable it's unbelievably smooth compared to the regular 227 which we have right here here is the regular 227 full size nitron and this is also unloaded we installed the guiderod.com stainless steel guide rod in this one they are making a stainless steel guide rod for the 227 SAS right now so here it is the full size though you can see it isn't dehorned like the SAS is. You see that right there. Both of these come with two 10 round magazines. Mech Guard made, made in Italy. It says it right there. Beautiful magazines. Really good quality. The trigger on the 227 full size is a little heavy in double action. You can see it's a little stiff. The trigger on the 227 full size is not as smooth as it is on the SAS. It it's a little heavy. It's probably three pounds heavier than the SAS model. So the SAS right here, chamber that snap cap, decock. You can see that this is just so smooth. This hasn't even been shot yet by us, you guys, and it's that smooth out of box. I mean, it's just so smooth in comparison. To this one. I mean, you can see it, it's heavy in comparison. And this also, the SAS model, has the short reset trigger, which I will show you in a sec. The single action has no creep, it just breaks like glass. Okay, so, so here's the short reach trigger in it. And you just pull. No creep at all after that reset. Again. And you just pull. It's awesome. And the reset all the way out is about right there. I'll show you that. Yeah, because some people don't use the reset, but some people do. So there's your reset, and there it is all the way out. If there is any creep in this trigger on this single action on this SIG, it's just the slightest bit, but I think there is no creep at all. It's beautiful though, look at that you guys. The decocker, just like our SIG 227 full size, is very positive, very positive actually, it might be even more positive than the full size 227. Uh, I think they're about the same. Here are the serrations on the 227 full size, right there, up there too. And there's the mag release button, very large and very easy to get to. It's very nice. They did a very good job on the 227. Here is the SAS model, same. Just beautiful checkering. Here's a size comparison compared to the full size model. The grip is the same, as you can see, same bore axis. Now we get to the slide difference. 
Let's uh, line that up right there to the night sides. The TT7 full size is about an inch longer overall in comparison. Both the regular 227 and the SAS model feature the short reach trigger and the E2 style grip. As you can see right there. They are just both beautiful guns. We are going to be taking the P227 SAS out soon along with its full size brother the P227 Nitron full size. Those should be a fun day at the range, you guys. Alright guys, thanks for watching the video on the excellent Sig Sauer P227 SAS Gen 2. And we will see you soon at the range.